hi guys so yes welcome back to the channel this is me again and today's video is all about what i do as a housekeeper or what my job entails as a j1 student so my job as you can see is housekeeping so my guest for this unit my guest had um left a little after nine so i just came in after and i started prepping i took out all of the dishes out of the dishwasher and now i am just putting in the little basket all of the things that my employers gave me so they gave us coffees two packs of coffees they gave us sugar and sweetener and popcorn and instructions on how to start the coffee machine so that's just me ensuring that everything is fixed correctly and i realized that i have to shift because i'm going to wash some dishes soon but this is me just folding up the the towels not wow the dish cloth my bad the dish cloths yes and just ensuring that they're properly done properly folded and that everything that i need to do is done correctly so i'm just adding some heavy um dishwashing liquid and just ensuring that the counter is properly cleaned but this is me guys i this i think this was my final unit for the day so i just wanted to ensure that everything was done correctly and i started to wash dishes actually and i used the paper towel that they gave us you know you have to make the little triangle thing you have to make it look fancy <laughs> and guys it was one day of training so i was happy that i could actually remember everything that i was taught here i am just washing the dishes it's very good as a housekeeper to ensure that the dishes are properly cleaned and that's just me putting on some paper towel because i'm going to have to place these dishes down so they can kind of dry off a bit and i just continue washing guys i've been washing clean since morning and dishes since morning and oh my gosh it just felt like because all of the units look the same it felt as if i was redoing everything over and over and over again but i mean as long as you get used to it i think it would be actually good for a time that's me just putting down more of the towels and kind of opening up the cabinet checking if anything is dirty because yes most times the guests do eat and put back the dishes in the in the cabinets uh i don't understand why though anyways i realized that there was actually ice in the ice tray so i just put them in a garbage bag and yes i always ensure that i prep my fridge because yes sometimes the guests do put food and stuff in it so you need to ensure that probably they touch a lot of things and you don't want germs and stuff to spread so you ensure that everything is wiped down all of your dishes are dried and that everything actually looks good and yes guys you might not be seeing it now however there is a specific way in which you actually place the dishes in the cabinet i'm so happy that i learned quickly and yes as a j1 it's stressful because you only clean your yard yes you only clean your yard and be honest guys we don't use coffee maker machine in jamaica come on but anyways probably sometimes i guess even leave coffee in the coffee machine so that's just me taking the heavy duty 
grease disinfectant thingy i don't even know what it's called i'm just ensuring that grease is not on the stove top and just ensuring that everything is you know nice and right and all of that so let me just speed it up and show you exactly how the room was after i almost dropped that thing and i was like oh my gosh i hope i don't have to pay for it but let me just show you exactly how the rooms looked after how the kitchen looked after so let's move on to that now no. yeah everyone so that's the kitchen that's after i cleaned and washed all of the dishes cleaned out the oven and did everything spray down uh, did everything guys i did everything you see how it's neatly done yeah but let's move on to the bedroom which is trust me guys it's complicated when i tell you you have to take off all of the linen you have to leave the duvet and i was so tired i'm like let me just go to one of the smaller beds so i ended up doing all of these are all dirty sheets by the way so me throwing them down on the floor does not make it you know on the carpet it doesn't make it you know as i said yeah it's not that's what even my supervisors do so i'm just following them so let me just start with one of the beds and i'm like let me fix this camera because you know if you choose to do housekeeping yeah this is one of the things that probably is one of the most important or difficult things that you have to do so guys i just had to take a little you know i had to go for the actual sheets and kind of sort it out so let me just show you now so first you put your your debate you're going to put your pillowcases you're going to ensure that your pillowcases are on your pillow and that they're in the right pillow because you can sometimes get some pillowcases that are not for the actual pillows now you're going to just start off with one of the clean linens or the clean sheets then you're going to ensure that everything there is tucked properly but yeah i left that out because i know i'm going to have to tuck again and sometimes it's very hard then you're just there you have to put on extra sheets guys of course i even broke a nail during this process that's the duvet and that's the cover for the duvet normally it's on the wrong side and then you're going to have to put the duvet on the wrong side as well and you flip it over so it's going to be on the right then you're just ensuring that everything is perfectly done it's neat it's in the right way that it's supposed to be and this is my favorite part which is tuck and we're just tucking we're folding folding again and now the tucking part you're tucking everything under now very neatly and my supervisors taught me that at least uh i learned something different so we're there we are talking again so the sheets are sorry the pillows that you have you just need to ensure that those are tucked as well and that's just one so as i'm explaining there i have two more units i went back to the living room guys i'm fixing the camera very hard because i want you guys to see everything so I know it sounds long and it's a pretty long video but let's just see so those were the towels that the kids did not use so they go into the red bag which is for clean things so if there's probably clean towels or rags you put them in the red bag then you're going to pull out your bed that's in your couch that's a mattress there you ensure that everything is brushed correctly because sometimes they leave hair and stuff so you don't want the other guests to come and find those hairs and probably it's going to be get a complaint you leave that up because your supervisors are also going to check and i'm kind of happy because the living room is probably one of the 
easier parts of this job um it all depends though because rooms can take you probably an hour in order to clean because your supervisors are going to check guys and if they check and they realize that huh, it's still dirty you're gonna have to come back and clean it and you don't want to do that so are you just ensure that these are the clean towels by the way i'm properly folding them ensuring that everything is okay and yeah just checking again ensuring that everything is done so when supervisors walk through they can actually see so and guys, i'm done there this let me kind of show i'm just showing you guys the end results i could bit. not take you to the bathroom this time this. because uh-huh yeah, how that's, everything that's, yeah, I forgot after that. That time, completing so it. Those. And those are the little amenities, your shampoo and so forth. So so it looks. And your bathroom is properly clean and stacked with fresh towels and rags and tissues and so forth. I'm turning that off and now I'm showing you the bedroom again. I forgot to turn off the lights. And those were two beds, guys. So we checked again. Normally, you have to oh, check that the kitchen. I mean, it's very heavy. I'm in the kitchen all for the last time. Yeah, I have to leave those open for my supervisors yeah. because so they have the kitchen, a specific arrangement. Like, how you arrange things. Probably not the best. And then but I have I'm to leave the cups like this also for them to pull it out. But that's basically I'm so happy I got to try to everything. It's okay, so I'm going to leave and, and go to the other yeah, unit that guys, I had to clean. But so bye. Today. Bye, guys. I'll, I'll be back shortly. My final unit, and I'm happy. Can get this done. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Hit to like and subscribe, guys. Thank you. See you next time.